And the reason you don't do it today is because they just don't work. So, right. Um, and what do you think will take a decade to accomplish? What are the yeah. bottlenecks? Well, um, actually make it work. So in my mm. mind, I mean, when you're talking about an agent, I guess, or what the labs have in mind and what maybe I have in mind as well, is it's, uh, you should think of it almost like an employee or like an intern that you would yeah. hire to work with you. Uh, so for example, you work with some employees here. Yeah. Um, when would you prefer to have an agent like Cloud or Codex uh, do that work? Like yeah. Currently, of course, they can't. Uh, what would it take for them to be able to do that? Why don't you do it today? And the reason you don't do it today is because they just don't work. So right. uh, like they don't have enough intelligence. They're not multimodal enough. They can't do computer use and all this kind of stuff. You know, they don't have continual learning. You can't just tell them something and they'll remember it. And they're just cognitively lacking and it's just not working. And I just think that it will take about a decade to work through all of those issues. Why a decade? Why not one mm, year? Why not I 50 see. years? Um, yeah, I guess this is where you get into like a bit of, uh, I guess, my own intuition a little bit and yeah. also just kind of doing a bit of an extrapolation of with respect to my own experience yeah. in the field. Yeah. Uh, I guess I've been in AI for almost two decades, but I do have about 15 years of experience of people making predictions of seeing how they actually uh, turned out. Uh, and uh, I feel like the problems are uh, tractable, they're surmountable, but uh, they're still difficult. And if I just average it out, it just kind of feels like a decade, I guess, to me. The